Hi, it's Dr. John Arlett in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. We're going to use our Clarius L20 HD3 to look at a skin lesion. Uh, our patient has had a number of basal cell carcinomas and squamous cell carcinomas. In reviewing, I noted two lesions. One's on the left forehead and the other is in the right conchal bowl. And we'll look at these with the ultrasound to see, can the ultrasound assist us in identifying the lesion to give us some parameters if we wish to proceed surgically to remove them in these areas? And does it add an advantage for us uh, in terms of our patient management, both assessment and planning for treatment and then carrying out treatment. So we're going to look first at the one on the temple. It's this little spot right here. You can see a little pearly papule. We can see he's had a number of actinic keratoses and maybe we'll look at those as well. I'm going to put the uh, ultrasound on the area now and we're going to start it up and we're going to go to the uh, dermatology uh, pattern. We're going to do it at one centimeter depth. And here's our lesion right here. So let's see what we can see. So we see a nodule in the skin. And um, let's help ourselves by using our voice control. Freeze. We can see in our image that we have a lesion which is taking up most of the space of the uh, dermis. We can see below it, we can see some uh, posterior enhancement so that it's probably a little bit cystic. We can see the surface of the skin. We have a little gel pad. We can see the lesion itself is relatively well circumscribed. Unfreeze. And let's just look a little bit closer at that. freeze. So in looking at our lesion, we can see the surface skin is contiguous. There's some keratinization. Freeze. And let's look at uh, vascularity. Color. And we can see that the vascularity is really limited to this lesion. This is a real advantage of using ultrasound because we can see where the vascularity is. Let's try and make this a bit bigger. Turn this a bit to the side. This is so cool. So we see the vascularity is limited to the lesion that we're examining. This has significant implications for us in terms of diagnosing and managing these, treat these lesions, as well as how we may in the future even do research on how we can approach investigation and diagnosis of cutaneous malignancies. To be able to use imaging to identify a skin lesion that you're suspicious of being a malignancy, here we have a way that we can localize changes within the skin in a way that we haven't been able to before. That's really an advance.